Hey, y'all ready? Y'all ready? I can't oh, wait for tonight, man. Ready. I am so hyped. Ready. Let's go. Oh, who you think you talking to, man? You see the people in the parking lot, man? You see all the cars out there? So, Bro, everybody so, from Newburgh to Portland has showed up for this one. Tell you what, man, Louisville's about to witness the most meteoric rise oh. to championship gold since Muhammad mm. Ali himself. Hey, you know what? Speaking of Muhammad Ali, baby, the pit bull, the California cowboy, we're gonna walk out there, we're gonna be, we're gonna be stinging like a butterfly, floating like a bee. Ain't that right, baby? It's, it's, it's not exactly the it's not what's, We'll get back to that in a minute. TMZ, y'all ain't never seen nothing like my city before. TMZ, you ain't never stepped into a battle like you have against Audacity. TMZ, if you have the audacity tonight to step in here with the pit bull, with the California cowboy, against the entire bill, <laughs> we'll see y'all ringside, player. Derby City. It's the biggest man in professional wrestling, PPA, all day, pretty Peter Avalon. And I want to introduce you to my talk show, the greatest talk show ever, Pete's Powder Room. Let's get down to business. I couldn't think of a better way to, to, for our first episode than to introduce my first guest, a very close friend of mine, the incredible, the amazing, Dylan Bostic. Brash, obnoxious, rude, crass, public enemy number one. That is Dylan Bostic. Last time we saw him, Sean, a couple of weeks ago, he knocked the Pope out and ruined an incredible match between the Pope and Rocco Bellagio with a roll of quarters. And it's the company you keep. I don't know if I've ever been more disappointed in, in Peter. So happily welcoming Dylan Bostic as his close personal friend to the ring. Yes, absolutely, Dylan Bostic. Not very many people you know. Uh, Dylan and I were roommates back in Hollywood not too long ago. Debauchery, so much fun we had. What an animal. And Dylan, you've been doing incredible things lately. Music, boxing, you are a multi-talented artist. You're amazing, my friend, amazing. You know, though, two weeks ago, the Pope beat you. Well, more than two weeks ago, the Pope beat you. But look, it doesn't matter because the first time you and the Pope wrestled, you whooped his ass. Now, wait a minute. That's not exactly what happened. Man, he is 103 in one boxing, Hall of Fame boxer. But Dylan, you are 2 and 0 to his 103 in one. That means you're undefeated hell. Two weeks ago, you knocked his ass out. That means you do it again. <laughs> That's right. I'm a huge musical artist. I'm a rapper. I have videos, songs out. I've been in movies, Peter. You forgot that. I've been in massive box office movies. You know, I've been a boxer training for a while. I haven't had a fight in a little bit. But like you said, I am undefeated because I'm Dylan Bostic. Now, with that being said, Peter, just like you were saying, you know, a couple weeks ago I came out here and boom, I knocked the Pope out. <laughs> oh, man. But you talking about whenever the Pope beat me the last time we were in here, you know he cheated. He took the turnbuckle off and used it illegally. Wait a minute. Yeah. Illegally, so technically, I am two and zero oh against the Pope, or three and zero, oh, whichever, I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. But with that being said, you know, I could beat the Pope again. Maybe if we boxed, I could knock him out again. <laughs> and if I did fight the Pope in a 
boxing match and knocked him out, I'd have one question, and that's, who sucks now? Well, just to set the record straight here, as the Pope has apparently heard enough, it was Dylan Bostic who exposed the turnbuckle. That's how he beat the Pope in the first place. He exposed the turnbuckle for a second time, and the Pope, who was already gonna win, beat him. Yeah, I, I think Dylan might have uh, might have forgotten exactly how the chain of events went, but oh! oh! Talk about a right hand. Bostic is out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ring the bell, get the medic. Dylan Bostic is done. Hey, Dylan, I accept. Did Pope just accept a boxing match, Sean? I, I think he did, and I definitely think that Dylan Bostic just bit off a little bit more than he could chew. Bostic was running his mouth and said that he could beat Pope in a boxing match, and, uh, Pope just sent an emphatic message to Dylan Bostic. Peter, we don't need a contract signing. No, no, Peter was there to witness it all, so he'll, <laughs> he'll attest for us. Can't wait for that one. Um. Um, Robbie Walker, nice to meet you. Uh, Robbie Walker, I'm Alexis Littlefoot of Big Money Management. I'm a money manager, and I'm looking for people that are money. Uh, this doesn't even have your number on it. Yeah, I only give my number to people that are money. Nah. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. snaked his way back on the United Wrestling Show out in California on a technicality Cut here. the music. Okay. He's feeling sassy. Now I need everybody in here to shut your mouths. Now I said I need everyone in here to shut your mouths. And open your ears because I got something I gotta get off my chest. And what I gotta say, I need to make sure it's painfully clear to all of you, and especially everyone in the office here. I've been 
been running roughshod over the United Wrestling Network for the better part of two years now. From Atlanta to Los Angeles to this disgusting Derby City. And these people here don't even have the decency to announce a match for me. So with that being said, I didn't come all the way here for nothing. I came here for a fight. So whoever in the back thinks they're bad enough to man up, let's fight. I was saying that uh, Lord Crew kind of snaked his way back onto the show out in California. Aaron Williams was there for a summer showcase match, got officials to agree to let him pick a partner from the stands. Well, lo and behold, that partner who bought a ticket was <laughs> Lord Crew. I, don't you just love technicalities? Uh, but I see Lord Crew, I like to say, here comes trouble, but apparently, uh, Ted McNaylor and Dustin Jackson, who were successful in our in our last time seeing them in tag team action. Is it gonna be Jackson who takes on uh, Lord Crew here? And I'm, I'm not surprised, but Ted, right in front of my face, has used dirty toilet paper hanging out of the back of his Oh, I'm short. just all roundhouse kick. I've seen Lord Crew take out, take off people's heads with that. The bare knuckle berserker. The bare knuckle bar fighter in Lord Crew going right to work. And I'm just, Sean, I'm told this is a handicap match. It is, but you you wouldn't be able to tell from what we're seeing right now as Lord Crew is absolutely decimating the competition. Catching Ted as he went for that cross body. Well, and Crew said he'd take on anybody. He just wanted a fight. Oh. Sending Ted right into his partner, Dustin Jackson, almost spilling over the toilet paper. When I see Lord Crew and Aaron Williams, I like to say, here comes trouble. Because it just seems to find them. And let's be clear, we have not seen Willie Mack. We have not seen Willie Mack in the United Wrestling Network for several months. The last people to see him were Crew and Aaron Williams. We don't know what they did. We don't know where he went. I know that he's staying away from here, and right now, based off what I'm seeing in this ring, I can't blame him. The merciless one about to lay it in to Ted McNaylor. The merciless one mercilessly laying in blows to the man beast. And you know, we've talked about it throughout the throughout the months that we've been here with Derby City Wrestling about the shape that Lord Crew is getting himself into. And I think this is the best shape that we've seen him in so far. And right now he's testing it against not just one, but two different opponents. Yeah, he was known as the, as the lean straight edge fighter when he got to uh, the United Wrestling Network a couple of weeks ago, but he has bulked up in the last 12 months or so, putting on about 15 pounds of muscle. And all that does is add more gusto to every strike. And a huge one that sends Ted Mc Naylor right to the ground. Man, these boys just look like they had too much of that Kentucky bourbon. They're just stumbling and tripping and falling all over themselves. I don't think they're drunk. If they're drunk, they're punch drunk because they've been hit too many times. Absolutely. So. That's what happens when you step in the ring with Lord Crew. Crew loves a good brawl. Sometimes they happen in the bar, sometimes they happen in the ring. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter for Lord Crew, and unfortunately for Ted McNaylor, he's bringing one to him. I'm looking at his tag partner here. Dustin Jackson still doesn't know where he is. And Lord Crew reminding him too as he's getting ready to send. But a quick reversal, some life from Ted McNaylor as he tags in Dustin, who's found his footing. Yeah, Ted may have just saved his own life, but here's what I know about Dustin Jackson. I've known this young man since he broke onto the scene about 10 years ago in Louisville. Dustin is a talented competitor. He's held championships. The kick out from Lord Crew. Dustin finding himself, getting a little bit of life back from this crowd. He gets ready. Oh, pillar to post, one side of the ring to the other. Not sure what Dustin Jackson had planned, but it did not pay off, Sean. And it sucked the life out of not only Dustin Jackson, but for those faithful to him here in the audience at the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. What is this from Lord Crew? But a quick reversal. Looks like Crew is going from a ripcord 
Dustin Jackson fires off with a perfectly executed drop kick. And a big kick out from Lord Crew. Dustin Jackson headed right back to Ted. Bringing in his tag partner here. I don't know what they had planned, but that did not work out. Did not. I don't know if Dustin Jackson second guessed himself, tried to get a little bit more momentum in his swing. As Ted McNaylor landing them dirty shots right in the face of Lord Crew. You know, we've talked about Ted McNaylor. He was in a terrible car accident, broke several ribs, broke his ankles. Uh, doctor said that he would never wrestle again. For some reason, he cannot get the toilet paper out of his back pocket. The punishment is over. What a decisive, emphatic victory here for Lord Crew. And you just said it. That was a second car crash that he just ran into from Merciless Lord Crew. Here's your winner, Merciless Lord for those of you who weren't listening before, you better be now. Don't let it happen again. Through sending a message to the roster, to the fans, to the committee. It means business. Lord Crew, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you go, he's the merciless one for a reason. And we will be back here shortly at Derby City Wrestling. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate, a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Welcome back in the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. DJ Scary Carry on the ones and twos, keeping the house alive for Derby City Wrestling. Gilbert Corsi alongside Sean Phillips, still to come a huge main event. Well, we've been talking about the approaching 15th year anniversary of the United Wrestling Network. Some of the biggest stars in professional wrestling have cut their teeth in the United Wrestling Ring. And so it's time once again to open the vault. Introducing his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 234 pounds, Eli Drake. We heard from Eli Drake last week on the premiere of Primetime Live and now stepping into the squared circle. Always an electric atmosphere when Eli Drake is involved. And look at Watts just staring daggers, staring down Eli Drake. Yeah, don't, don't turn around, you won't like the view. Yeah, right. It's like in a horror movie, my goodness. These two go way back. A little bit of a war of words here. Watts saying you like to talk. Eli Drake answering, I do like to talk. 
They're going to do their talking in the ring. There you see some sportsmanship. And they have a foundation of friendship and sportsmanship that might get thrown square out the window here. They go way back since the early days of championship wrestling from Hollywood. You the fans at home chanting for Watts. You got to believe. Watts saying you can hear the fans at home chanting for me. But these two do go way back. And originally championship wrestling from Hollywood, Alyssa. Oh, do we hear him? Can you hear him at home? I can hear him if they use the hashtag primetime live to tell us who they're rooting for. There you go. All right, here we go. These two circle, two big heavyweights. As I was going to mention, championship wrestling from Hollywood, its inception was known then as NWA championship wrestling from Hollywood. Both of these guys mixed it up with then World's Heavyweight Champion Scrap Iron Adam Pierce back in the day, but they never had a one-on-one -on -one contest. Of course, Watts still a big fixture in the United Wrestling Network, and Eli Drake, one of the top stars in the National Wrestling Alliance. Now, Todd, they have, as you said, such a long history, friends for gosh, over 10 years, but collected in that ring is over two decades of experience. You've got to imagine that each one, even though Eli Drake said there were no hard feelings between them, each one is going to have to try and prove themselves to themselves, but also to the other. Yep, friendly competi competition, but a huge opportunity for both. Obviously, Watts wants to skyrocket right back into championship contention. We saw the 10 pounds of gold on the line last week in our main event. Certainly both would love a shot at that. We saw the West Coast Pro title defended by Hammerstone as well. We'll see many championships from many promotions right here on Primetime Live. Eli Drake having a little fun in there. Having a little fun. We hear the fans at home saying, yeah. One for you, one for me. You know, this almost reminds me, uh, you know, the end of uh, the end of Rocky when they, you know when when Rocky and Apollo just uh, two friends like we got to do it you promise we promise ding ding and let's fight let's see who the better man is friendly competition but both oh look at that putting on the brakes and that's that might be the X factor in this matchup Alyssa the sheer power of Watts Eli Drake his conditioning is impeccable Watts he has the power this is Watts. Well, there you go. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Imitation, maybe not the uh, yeah. sincerest form of flattery. This matchup is sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance. So, again, a huge matchup in terms of trying to be right in the top of contention. And neither, both these guys are great veterans, great pros, and they know how dangerous their opponent is. You don't want to make a pivotal early mistake. Nice roll up here by Eli Drake. Gets the big man down, but it's a tough proposition to keep the big man down for a three count. That's absolutely true, and you got to wonder what's going through the head of Watts. Most recently, last time we saw him, he was storming out, storming out of the Ocean View Pavilion, looking in, in the best kind of way. You're really going to get hot about that. Oh boy, this is starting to this is starting to get personal. You know, Eli Drake said it himself. Sometimes friends hit hardest. I think these two are gonna find that out the hard way. Big shot by Watts, Sho shoving him off now is Eli Drake. Watts in the driver's seat here, Alyssa. Look at the power. Eli Drake slammed hard. Big sidewalk slam. Watts showing why he was the. Hollywood Heritage Champion for over one full count of the year. Big fall away yeah. slam just launching Eli Drake through the air. And as you know, Alyssa, this ticket usually gets booked as a round trip. We'll see if Watts follows it up. Watts is just stalking Eli Drake at this point in the matchup. You, there's definitely a feeling that things are getting a little bit personal between these, these two longtime friends. Opening up the offense now is Watts. Physical attack, verbal attack, wide open right hand by the big man. And I don't care if you are Eli Drake, I don't care who you are, you can't eat too many of those. And Drake now starts to battle back. Oh, gosh. Trying to cut off the air supply, the windpipe of Eli Drake is Watts. Oh, here we go. It took a while. There was a little delay at the airport for the round trip, but there it is, the second big fallaway slam by the big man and Eli Drake. When is the last time you saw Drake manhandled like this as Watts goes for the victory and only comes up with two? That's a weird choice, Eli. 
Eli Drake was talking earlier about a return to the old normal, returning to the prominence of Eli Drake, the prominence of the National Wrestling Alliance, but Eli Drake has really got to wrap his mind around how to get past Watts. These two never faced over 10 years, and maybe if they had, and maybe if Watts had dominated, Watts would have gone on to superstardom. Watts would have gone on to world titles. Watts has always kind of had a chip on his shoulder, although he's held major titles in the United Wrestling Network. This is a huge showcase opportunity for the big man. And Eli, Eli Drake is showing what he's made of, though, surviving and weathering the storm. But he's got to do something to battle back. Well, think about it, Todd. If you're a longtime friend, you're not thinking about, you know, you're, you're being supportive towards your, towards your friend. <laughs> not inside you're, Thunder not, Studios. Not, right now. not when the bell rings. Oh, don't tell me there's going to be a third. There is the trifecta, a painful trifecta for Eli Drake. This is turning into a nightmare for Drake, courtesy of Watts, who is in dominant control of this matchup. This is not what I expected. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. Eli Drake, I think the only thing keeping him up right now is the corner, but you can't sell Eli Drake short. We've seen him come from behind so many times and now starts to battle back. And as this thing goes into deep water, Alyssa, perhaps Eli Drake maybe will have the advantage because Watts is built for sprint on America. Definitely true. Maybe if, if Eli Drake, Drake can just stay alive a little bit longer in this matchup and, and try and tire out Watts, that's the only thing that I can think rack in my brain, but I'm sure Eli Drake, the defiant one, I'm sure he's got some kind of game plan going into this match. Yeah, you play rope a dope with with Watts. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh, more rope and less and less in a lot of dope here. And, and obviously no! Eli Drake knows the feet, charges, rockets out of the corner, and the big man is down and bewildered. And this might be a huge opportunity for Eli Drake to capitalize here, Alyssa. Eli Drake quickly finding the strength to get to his feet, but no! Oh my God! What a bang bang play that was! Caught him into the overhead throw. Is that gonna do it? Oh. God. Watts would rather throw you than know you. Think about it. Three fallaway yeah. slams. Now that big over to head, belly to belly. Usually Eli Drake is the powerhouse in any match he's in. He is not used to getting thrown around like this. And Watts, if you look into the eyes of Watts, there is just such a fire. And, and you got to wonder if he's seeing maybe Ray Rosas in Eli Drake, someone that is standing between him and and his title, something that's standing between him and the prestige. And we want to hear from the fans at home using hashtag primetime live to tell us who you think is coming out of this match alive. Well, usually Watts was always uber confident. He was always cool, calm, and collected because he was on the top of the food chain. But that's not the case since losing that heritage title. You mentioned storming out of the Ocean View Pavilion. We haven't seen him in weeks. Friends have been trying to get a hold of him. Eli Drake gets caught like a baby, gonna get maybe put down for a three second nap, fourth fall away slam. Dominant performance, career making performance perhaps by Watts if he can finish the deal. 
But is there a certain... Oh. Big head scissors takedown there by Eli Drake. Desperation move. Eli Drake, Alyssa, is going to have to dig deep, deep, deep into his playbook. Eli Drake is going to have to de dig deep, deep into his playbook to get onto his feet. Double count here. I mean, this thing has been hard hitting since the opening bell. These two big guys, absolute deke leaders, just taking each other off their feet. Who wants it more? It looks like Eli Drake maybe getting his second win here. Gets back to his feet first after that head scissors takedown. And he's quicker to the punch right now than the big man. Eli Drake almost able to suss out the strikes from Watts. And quick counter from Watts. Eli Drake over the top. Nice balance there by Eli Drake. Look on the charge. Oh, my gosh. Oh athleticism. Timber cuts down the giant Sequoia there. Wow. But did Eli Drake just take all the, the wind out of his own sails with that? Able to duck the clothesline. Leg sweep from Eli Drake. Takes him down. Side Russian leg sweep. We mentioned earlier that Eli Drake's not used to getting thrown around. I guarantee you, the big man Watts is not getting used to getting taken off his feet with a single shot like that flying clothesline off the ramp. Athleticism, Eli Drake. Catches him with the power slam. Is that going to do it? My gosh, Herculean effort by both. Who in the world power slams Watts? I, I, I can't wrap my mind around it. I'm sure Watts is shaking as well. Three words for you. Eli Drake, that's who. Unbelievable. Use the momentum. A true pro. Got the big man rocking and rolling, charging out of the corner. Took him up and over. Got full rotation. I mean, Watts is is damn near seven feet tall. I mean, it just almost didn't look humanly possible to execute that move, but Eli Drake found a way. Eli Drake found a way because he's been eight months on the sidelines. He's been locked down. He has all this pent up energy that he is now expounding on Watts. You mentioned it, Eli Drake taking it back to the old school, as he said, and this has been the tenacity of the old Eli Drake, that oh. never say die. Uh-oh, got caught there. Got throttled by the big man. Eli Drake was trying to keep that momentum going with the athleticism, able to break the grasp. What a battle. Boss fight indeed. Huge boot. Oh my gosh. Lights have got to be out, and he's not done. Doesn't even elect to go for the cover there, Alyssa. Going to keep things going. Uh oh. You may dispense with the pleasant. Oh my gosh. That's forced by Darth Watts. What? It almost sends him to the Death Star. How did he get out of that? Ooh, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted at the fact that Eli Drake just kicked what? out after a choke force straight to the mat. On, Watts asking yeah. him why. Why did he kick out? Well, a little talking there. Nobody gets out of that. You talked about it earlier. Who, pow who power slams Watts? Eli what? Drake. Who can kick out of the choke force? Back and forth. We've been asking this entire match because we are absolutely astonished at the power and athleticism of these two great heavyweights. Oh, the answer is Watson. The answer is Eli Drake. They haven't gone at it for 10 years, but this is one hell of a fun fight to watch. Unbelievable. Eli Drake, though, is in big trouble here. Uh, you know, he did kick out, but was that last-ditch effort? Was that, was that all that was left in the tank of Eli Drake? Eli Drake looks like just a, just a pile of bricks. He's barely movable. The referee checking with him there because he's got to be able to intelligently defend himself. The referee could elect to call for a TKO here, if Watts is unable to continue, I mean, if Eli Drake, rather, is unable to continue. Drake wow. just trying to pull, you know, Watts trying to pull him off the mat here. Drake is just completely lifeless. Now Watts adding an extra bit of mockery, literal insult to injury. Watts just biding his time. Well, and I think, you know, there is, uh oh, I was going to say there is friendship. Maybe he doesn't want to, you know, to pile on with, if, you know, if Eli Drake is hurt, but that sign. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, he's not doing this. Watts is calling for his music. This is this is shades of, yeah. of squash god Watts with that confidence. Yep, he would get confidence. Yeah. He, would, he, would, oh. he would call a shot. Oh. But there it is. The gravy train pulling into the station out of nowhere. Wow. Here is your winner, Eli Drake. Okay, friends, right now on Derby City Wrestling, presented by Car Shield, you know her. She's asked for this time. Here she is, Alexis Littlefoot. All right. 
Well, welcome out here. These people all know you. People at home know you. What brings you out here with me today? Oh, man, you know, the big flexor. Got these new business cards out. Oh, you big do? Money management. Oh, big money management. Look at that. Hey, but I'm, I noticed there's no phone number. I only get my number out to those I think are money. Oh. Is it? Is it you? Who is it? Who is it? So who's money in the house? All right, friends, your main event's up next. It is main event time in Derby City Wrestling, presented by Car Shield, and it is a big one. The match of a lifetime for Carson Drake and Omega D Audacity. And Omega D and Carson Drake are about to step into the ring with two of the biggest baddest zaddies we have here in the United Wrestling Network. And Audacity is about to be tried true for the first time here at Derby City Wrestling. The United Wrestling Network World Tag Team titles are on the line. Drake and Omega said they are doing it for their community. They are doing it for their family. They are doing it for their friends. They are doing it for their, their fans. Many loved ones in the house here tonight. You see the signs. And with the support of their village, they hope to stand atop the Tag Team Mountain here in the United Wrestling Network. The emotions are high for this one, Sean. Absolutely. This will not be a split crowd, Sean. Uh, the Zaddies are in Audacity's town. And we saw it here last week. The Zaddies, TMZ, they came in here. They talked all of the trash to the Louisville faithful. And if anything, it might have given what was already a home field advantage to Audacity even much more. It was a sellout. These, the fans, the community came to see Audacity with their opportunity for the United Tag Team Championships. They want their guys to go home with gold. Yeah. Jay Cabrera, Bad Dude Tito did not make any friends here in the North in Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. It's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. The big fight night, the stage of is upon us. The tag team titles are on the line. Next. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. Don't worry, it's fake. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. The following contest is for the United World Tag Team Championship! Introducing first, from Louisville, Kentucky! With a combined weight of 553 pounds, Carson Drake, Omega Day, Audacity! And 
and their opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 543 pounds, Che Cabrera, Bad Dude Tito, the Wolf Zaddy. Big, strong, bruising team. That is the Wolf Zaddies, part of a trio. Che Cabrera, Bad Dude Tito won the tag team titles really in their first shot against Midnight Heat several months ago. Shane Hayes, the third member, not here tonight, was instrumental in that. And these guys know what it takes to get the job done. And at the end of the day, these two have won matches just based off brute force. There doesn't need to be strategy when you're that strapped. And guess what? Right now, even though Audacity has the home field advantage, they definitely have more than they're prepared for. Cabrera and Bad Dude Tito, known as the Wolf Zaddies. Haste and Bad Dude Tito were known as TMD, TMDK, the Mighty Don't Kneel. TMZ is, of course, the blending of the Wolf Zaddies and TMDK, or as Haste likes to call it, the Wolfiest and Zaddiest. You said it wrong. It's the Wolfiest and Zaddiest, Mike. Mate, 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 yeah. mate, at the end of it. As Shea here, Carson Drake, exchange, quick kick out right here. Carson Drake using that speed advantage that he might have. All in cowboy boots. It's rather impressive to see. Hey, he's a California cowboy, is Carson Drake. That explains the sun tanned hair as he grabs the arm, working of Shea as we're about to see Omega Day bust in and the crowd going crazy yeah. for Audacity. Shea is the favorite, he is the hometown kid, he is the, the one that the kids love to cheer, they known as the River City Pitbull. Absolutely, and we've seen here the crowd are behind him and the smart move by the Zaddies here as they roll out, waiting getting their breath back, letting the crowd die down. I think, the, I think cool the fans players. are getting underneath the skin of that dude and, and, and Che Cabrera here. Well, trust me, I saw a little bit of a, a flex of a forearm that could have came from Che or Bad Dude, which would have sent someone home with a couple of black eyes. And as Bad Dude Tito enters the contest for the first time here, we should make mention that the Bad Dude Tito is also holding a United World, Tag a world title shot after winning a, a fatal four-way back at the red carpet rumble, Tito has a has a chance at Danny Limelight. Absolutely, and he is waiting till the moment's right. I think he, you know, was smart. He waited a few weeks ago as we saw Danny Limelight defend his world championship against the wrestling god Moose. When is Tito going nowhere. to finally step in the nowhere ring? Nowhere do you see Tito went nowhere. And to be clear, Omega is 250 pounds, and he could not move Bad Dude Tito. Both legs come down. A scoop and a slam as Omega's going for the arm bar. Maybe trying to put Tito out early here, but a roll through, and Bad Dude Tito with a nice ankle lock wrenched in. And, and you can wrench it in even better when you're not wearing a boot. Absolutely. Tito aware of his surroundings, or better yet, of what his opponent chose to wear to the ring tonight. No extra support from boots or shoes. And Omega goes back to the armbar. Back to the armbar, this is a submission hold. And a smart move, might not be the fan favorite move, but Shea busting up that armbar before too much damage is done to bad dude Tito. Omega said this is the biggest opportunity, biggest match, biggest stage of his career thus far. Everyone he knows is basically in the crowd here tonight, Sean. And Omega running into Che, but then sending him right to the back. Eyes closed, going for a ride. There's the German release, almost from a deadlift-like position, and heave-ho over the head goes Omega. There's a reason why they call him a bad dude, and it's just not because he's rude to these people here at Derby City and the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. Bad dude Dito is a bad man. Yeah, TMZ, I mean, they did pick on children. They, they called children and their, and their, and their moms mm, unpretty. Well, when, when, when you live in Los Angeles and you're surrounded by movie stars. Close line here, Omega's looking at the lights. But it doesn't matter. Bad dude Tito on top. 
Audacity really needs this crowd to pump some life back into them. The faithful here in the Norton Center behind the River City Pitbull. And it wills him to attack. Here comes Carson Drake, who's been jumping on the bin on the outside of the ring for quite some time. A series of hip tosses for Che Cabrera. Latino meat going down for the backslide. Shoulders on the mat. Drake can only find two. He can only find two and a smart move. Whoa. Outside of the ring, Chris Allen with the trip. We're seeing a little bit of friction amongst Audacity. I don't, know if it, I don't know if it's friction. I think Carson's just telling Allen that, you know, this is not the way we do business. We don't need your help. Nonetheless, that miscommunication has created a window of opportunity for the tag team champions to shift the momentum back in their favor. Can Audacity get back into it? The titles are on the line. And we got to take our last TV timeout. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. United Wrestling Network Tag Team Titles on the line here in your main event. TMZ defending against Audacity. Gilbert Corsi alongside Sean Phillips, and just before we went to the break, we saw a bit of miscommunication, misintent from Chris Allen on the outside of the ring trying to help Audacity. Yeah, he was trying to help, but it ended up making it go back into TMZ's favor as Carson Drake was letting his tag partner know, say, hey, this just isn't how we do business. And because of that, right now, TMZ, our United Tag Champions, are in the driver's seat. Big, heavy, pressing cover here, brooding tag team is TMZ. Absolutely. Che Cabrero, Latino meat. He is the barbecue of Southern California, and he's had his fair share out here in the Derby City, but right now, he is firing on all cylinders, smoking Carson Drake, who gives a little bit of life back with a couple of open-handed shots. Audacity has said this is the match, the opportunity, the stage of their life. All of their loved ones cover here. Carson's looking at the lights, but he's still got gas in the tank as he's out in two. And that's something Family. That, that Carson Drake isn't going to see every day. A flying Shea Cabrera in the air with a huge shoulder tackle. And now he is at the mercy of Bad Dude Tito. Family, friends, fans, they're all cover here. And another near fall. They are all in the stands in support of Audacity. Not a 50-50 split cloud. And, and let me be clear, TMZ is a well-liked team in the United Wrestling Network. But when you have come into Audacity's home, into their community, and the community is fully behind them, Wolf Zaddies find themselves the villains here. Absolutely. And that's something that we're, you know, we're not always used to. But I think for these guys right now, they know one thing, they're here to defend their belt, to get it back, to get back with their tag partner, Shane. They are here to walk out as champions, whatever it takes. And even if that means rubbing people the wrong way, they're here for it. 
And a smart hold by Carson Drake as he's whipped by Che Cabrera. Sends him up off the ropes. Nice spring suplex there from Carson Drake. Shades of the great Tully Blanchard here from the California Cowboy and Carson Drake. He's trying to draw on the will of the people here in the Norton Center to get back to his feet. TMZ needing to make a tag here as well. Who is going to get there first? And here comes Audacity. Here comes Omega Day. But here's the thing, there was no tag. There was no tag. Tito said, I don't care. I'm going for it. The ref didn't call a tag. Che Cabrera is still the legal man. You're gonna get in there and tell him? I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna sit right here, nice and safe. High impact suplex here from the River City Pitbull. The leg is hooked. Will it be enough? The titles are on the line. And he's out in two. Mega Day is getting back up on his feet. He's the one that carries the momentum right now as Carson Drake goes up high. That's how they win matches. We've seen him gain victories right here on Derby City Wrestling that way. Not Tito's in to make the save. Not today, says bad dude Tito, as he's in it. Oh, just absolutely. Guys, Carson Drake is six foot three, six foot four, and he just got flung around like a doll. As the kids call it, yeeted. Look out! There's the cover, and not over yet. Still some life, Jake Cabrera can't believe it. The champions have quickened the pace here with their titles on the line. And once again, you know, every time that Audacity gets in a little bit of jeopardy, you hear this loyal crowd filled with their family, their friends, their fans, rally them back to their feet. As we have an exchange of forearms here from Omega and Shay, it's all going to be who has the advantage, and Omega is feeling it from his friends, from his family. But Shea cutting him down with a big boot to the gut. But again, Chris Allen. What is, again, Allen was asked by his tag team partners not to get involved in this match. And because of that, he found himself on the receiving end from Omega here. That was a costly distraction. Another distraction that may prove to be the end here for Audacity. Into the cover, the leg is hooked, and this is not the way. This is not the way. Here it's Omega wanted it to end. The Wolf Zaddy! You are absolutely right. That is not at all how they wanted it to go. Audacity wins on merit. Audacity wins on being the hometown heroes, the hometown favorites. And one of their members trying to flip the, the switch here is what cost them. On a night in front of their community, in front of their family, in front of their friends, in front of their fans, it is not the victory that Carson Drake and Omega would have hoped for. Not the thrill of victory, well, I think we're seeing it both here, Sean. The thrill of victory from TNZ, and there with audacity, the agony of defeat. And the Wolf Zaddy TMZ are going to head back to their home in Los Angeles with the belts wrapped around their waist.